Here we go guys, this is what's on the plan for today. I am in Orlando, Florida this week. I just finished up ICAST. You guys don't know what ICAST is. ICAST is the industry trade show uh, for, the, for the fishing world. So everything the latest, greatest, newest, coolest, some of the not coolest and not really that new kind of stuff comes out of ICAST. I'm sure you probably already know. We're going fishing today while I'm here in Florida. Uh, I've never fished in Florida in the summertime or fall time. Every time I've fished in Florida has always been during the, uh, the early season, January, February, March, you know, something like that. But I've never been here in the summertime. So I have a really, really good friend that, uh, that I really look up to a lot and is probably responsible for, uh, for a lot of the things that I do. Um, a lot of the inspiration that I have, a lot of my work ethic, and uh, whether he probably knows it or not, kind of like a, uh, a industry mentor for me. Be just uh, fun fishing slash filming a uh, fishing show with my buddy Running Green. Running Green's show is called A Fishing Story. You should definitely watch it. What I like about um, about this show is uh, fishing is kind of the backdrop. Of, of this show and of course you tell your story just about everybody really everybody in life has some kind of story whether it be uh, things kind of sucked and they got better or they were good and they got worse and then they got better again uh, you know everybody's got some kind of obstacle or something they're going through and Ronnie uses the backdrop of fishing to talk about that it's like the best concept ever and today I'm going to be on that show so here we are headed towards uh, Joe Overstreet boat landing. It's like the coolest place to ever go to. All that bumping and grinding and the camera shaking. This is like a probably, I don't know, maybe a four or five mile long road that you go down. Now it's turned to a dirt road, which is ironically the dirt road is smoother than the asphalt road. But uh, it's cool. I'm going to give you guys just a little bit of really cool B-roll that will make this seem way more dramatic than it really is so check check this out <laughs> Got the cameraman Darian. Was it Darian or Darian? Dan, Dan. Dan. Dan, you see I never get names right. And the host, the man of the hour. <laughs> running here. I'm just hanging out with hanging the out. real man. So, like I tell you guys, the basis of premise, uh, the premise of Ronnie's show is uh telling the stories. I'm looking forward to getting out there catching some fish today. Maybe we'll catch three, four, yeah, five, six big ones. Here goes a little midday report. So, uh, folks, let me tell you, I thought it was hot in South Carolina. Run it. It's it, real hot. It's real hot. This it's is real hot. <laughs> it's hotter. I mean, it's it's smoking out here. But listen, fishing has been pretty doggone good it's for Florida. It's been unbelievable, Brian. I mean, I, it's I been... can't even understand. I can't even explain it, man. Hey, look what we found the here, there, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> we caught some good ones today. But you know what we found her. I mean, John saw them pretty much like every cast here for a couple hours. It's gonna be a good show. I think you're gonna have a yeah. have a blast watching this show. Make sure you catch Ronnie's um, uh, show. I'm gonna leave a description uh, link in the description box of this video where you can go to Ronnie's website. Um, you put these on YouTube as well, Ronnie. Later yeah, on, yeah, they're maybe? on YouTube. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, um, Amazon Prime and Discovery Go app. Yeah, so, so I'm gonna put a, a link in that box where you guys can go and watch this show. 
You can also catch it on, what's the network? The We're on Destination America now and then NBC Sports and WFN. WFN, so make sure, I'll keep you posted, just watch my social so you can tell where you can see this show. I'll give you a sneak peek, but I can't show you everything. Meat. I look at, check out my thumbs here. 20 something, 30 something. We had to catch 25, 30 fish today. I mean, literally like one after another. We sat in one spot, 45 minutes or so, and just kept catching them. We even like the cameraman. Yeah. Daniel got in on Dan it. Daniel the man. Will got in on it. The boat driver got in on it. It was uh, epic. It's pretty epic for sure. So I'm sorry if any of my uh, subscribers here are offended about what I'm about to say, but if you got one of these things right here, the loudest thing on the water right here, I don't know, what is that? Like a V10 Corvette engine or Dodge Viper engine? I don't know what it is. The loudest thing on the planet is an airboat and uh, it can be pretty doggone annoying when you're trying to fish. I don't think they bother to fish. But boy, airboats, you sure do make a lot of noise. <laughs> yeah, so I, I was just sitting here, um, we were just talking, and there's a, a huge issue down here in Florida. I've kind of heard rumors of it before. Um, well, I'll let a couple of these guys kind of explain uh, what's going on here. You know, of course, fishing is a big part of what goes on in Florida. And, um, you know, if you don't have good, clean waterways and we don't take care of our fisheries, it affects the economy drastically because I mean you got boats you got uh, we pay taxes on our boats yeah. fishing licenses there's charter captains yep. you know we all buy fuel we buy tackle and every time somebody makes a purchase that is sales tax and that funds every governmental agency we have um, but there's an issue that's going on and our lakes and rivers are in trouble and nobody's really talking about it and I was totally unaware and um, you want to talk about a little bit, right? I don't know yeah, a whole lot about absolutely. it. Absolutely, and I'm not the duty expert, but we have some incredible people. We just met them here, right. and uh, a former Army veteran. Yeah, that yeah. Is. I'm Who's Karen you? Denard. It's my wife, Colleen Denard. Right. I, I, we live in Stewart, Florida, and uh, my wife's a realtor, and she has been affected along with her um, um, other realtors in Martin County, um, which affects even the west side of Florida. We're all connected by this, and. Um, we, we love Florida very much, but the water quality affects all of us. Small, big, um, realtors, um, bait, shops. bait shops, paddle boards. Everything. Everything. E everything. Boat rentals. We, we, everything. we know that, you know, we believe that, um, we don't know the root cause of it, but we know that the water needs to be cleaner. It needs to go south. Yeah. And so what's going on? How do you know what's, what's, uh, what's happening? It's, I heard you saying something about a lot of the... A lot of the um, the wildlife is starting to, to perish, basically. Well, yes. Oh, not only that, there's it's the the salinity level is is going super low, so the grass is dead in, in uh, the Indian River and in the St. Lucie. Right. Oysters, the conks are dying. Right. And also, too, you know, you have we were in Sanibel a month ago, and where the water is supposed to be Caribbean blue and clear, it's brown. You know, right. from too much, too much, too fresh, much water. fresh water. So I mean, and it's 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 connected north, it's connected south, east and west. Right. But but also too, there are old timers who lived in Palm City before they connected the lake to east and west. Right. And they remember how beautiful the water was. And so and now it's just there, brown. There was now an immediate. They said there was an immediate change, and they knew there was a problem. So so we we understand that there's a lot of variables to this, but. People come to Florida for the water. It's not just the 5% that are talking Tallahassee. They got to listen to us because we love Florida. We don't want to put anyone out of business, but at the same time, you have to consider everyone. Right. You got to consider everyone. Gotcha. So we want what's fair for the people of Florida. Interesting. That's, you you mentioned something. Captains, captains for Clean Water. Captains for Clean Water. Tell me what that's about. Uh, well, basically, Captains for Clean Water is an advocacy group. Uh, you know, just trying to create awareness for people to know about what the problem is with Lake Okeechobee and the discharges going on right now. Um, uh, 
you know, they're a great organization, um, non-profit, and uh, you have a link much to that agency maybe or anything like that or, or is there yeah. a yeah, to the organization? Yeah, uh, I guess you can go on Captains for Clean Water. I'll get the uh, I'll get the link to the description here because this is a pretty serious problem. I, I would imagine you. Know, I don't know a whole lot about this, and um, you know, fishing FLW tour. We always come to Florida, and I want you know I want it to be the fishing to be good every time we go somewhere. And, and at the places in trouble, you know, I care about it just as much as the people that live here. So we're going to leave a link in the description box uh, where you guys can find out more about this and uh, get on the ball because we got to protect these these lakes, rivers, and, and uh, ponds and all the waterways that are connected to them because... Man, fish, fish are dying. Right. And if something's not done now, people are going to start suffering and our whole state is right. already suffering. It's a huge part of the we economy got to get on here. it now. I mean, even like you think, this TV show here is, is... If we don't have good fishing here, we can't do a TV show. So even these guys, the camera guys, they, they're dependent on these waterways. So uh, it's a real important issue. Real, real serious. So I'll leave a link in the description box where you guys can find out, read up more about it, do some reach out, research on it, and figure out what it's all about. So you, what did you do today? I went to the pool. You went to the pool. What else? I ate pizza for breakfast. You ate pizza for breakfast. I'm going on the elevator. Now you're going on the elevator. Did you say you went to the pool today? Yes. Can you see it wasn't that cool? Let's go. Everybody's ready. So, you want to win the match? Yes, I'm trying to find it. Right here, for what? Right here? Wait. What? Right here. No. I didn't see it. It's all cool. So, we just in a long day of fishing with Ronnie. I'm back at the hotel now. We've been in Orlando. How long have we been here? about almost a week when we got here Tuesday and it is Saturday so we're just down at the cafe at the hotel getting a little bite to eat Rail's trying to trick me into going to where are you trying to go shopping or something he wants to go out on the town on the night but I'm pretty whipped after working the iCast show for a couple days and then going out there catching uh, staying out there fishing in 95 100 I really do believe it was 100 degrees out there today He's eating cheese puffs. I'm <laughs> waiting on a salad and uh, some quesadillas. Shoot. Yeah, shoot. But there listen. There was a fly on the camera. There was a fly on the camera. Well, tomorrow I think the uh, the plan for us is to sleep in for one. I've got up somewhere between four and six in the morning every morning for the last 10 days or so. So I think I'm gonna sleep in. Uh, maybe we'll get up late, go to the pool, and uh, make our trek back home Monday. So make sure you hit the like button on this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Stay tuned for my straight up fishing deal that's coming up in a couple months. And um, who knows what the next video is going to be. I don't know what it's going to be. But I'm sure it will be somewhere fishing somewhere, having something to do with finding a bass somewhere in the water hole. So that's the end of this video. We're going to wrap it up. Get something good to eat. Stay up late tonight playing games with uh with my man's here. Hey. <laughs> Just still saying hey. And uh, that'll be it. <laughs>